Well, here we are, Hollywood Studios for the day. And uh, a little cloudy out, but I'll tell you what, it's perfect. Uh, temperature, we're not gonna see the heat and humidity that we've seen earlier, so I, that's made it pretty cool around here. So what have we done so far? Well, once we came in, uh, made our way uh, across here. We didn't make it for the rope drop this morning. We kind of took our time. And once we got into Hollywood Studios, the first ride we went on was Tower of Terror. And that one was an hour wait. Fortunately, we ended up getting on there in 40 minutes, I believe it was. Um, so we did that and, and that was pretty good. Then once that's been, or once that was accomplished and had a good time, which by the way, Tower Tear is so cool because you don't know if you're going to get an, uh, you know, two drops or we got four today, we thought. Uh, three or four for sure. After that was done, we came over here to uh, Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. And what was a 40 minute wait turned out to be 20 minutes. We were in and out. So that was good today. And we thought, okay, now we're going to make our way over to Toy Story Land. We did get another virtual queue today for Rise of the Resistance, thanks to Debbie. So we're gonna hit that again today. No videotaping of that. This one I wanna enjoy um, to watch myself because I was trying to videotape and it didn't look like it came out very well the last time. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do Rise of the Resistance. Head to Toy Story Land. We'll see if we can do Slinky Dog Dash and uh, the aliens and, and things of that nature. Uh, once that's done, Gal uh, Rise of the Gal, or excuse me, um, we'll hit uh, Star Wars Galaxy and we'll hang around there for a while. So that's what we've got. We've also got dinner reservations over here at, what was it, uh, Primetime Cafe, 50's Primetime Cafe. So that's where we'll be eating later on tonight. So with that being said, I got to put my mask back on. We got to head out and let's go see what else we can find. All right, come on, let's go. All right, gang, welcome back. Here we are um, at the Ronto Roaster. We, were, we got done with Toy Story Land, walked over to Galaxy's Edge. Our queue has been called to go in. We've got an hour to do that, uh, to make it. So in the meantime, I told Deb, I said, for once, we're gonna get lunch here, lunch somewhere, and just something, to, a, a quick bite. I've heard people talk about the Ronto Roaster. So that's what we're gonna check out today here at Galaxy's Edge. So, the Ronto Roaster, 
it is what you see. We have, it's all on a pita. We've got some uh, chicken or turkey, one of the two, a sausage with coleslaw and their own dressing. You can also add barbecue sauce. They have that too. We've never done this. This will be a first, so should I do it on it on camera, Debbie? What do you think? I think you should. I think I should too. So I'm gonna add a little BBQ. Well no. We'll go without the BBQ sauce first, okay? Let's see what we get here. It's definitely not a Big Mac. We'll find out. Or as I would say, it's definitely not a Spanish dog from B&K, my favorite place. Um, a little dry. Barbecue sauce would be good with. Maybe when I get, excuse me, maybe when I get to the coleslaw, it'll be better. But actually, it's not bad at all. So, give it a shot. All right, uh, we'll let you know later how things turned out with this, okay? All right, come on, let's eat. Okay. Uh, which color would you like? I believe the blue. Yeah, right? Blue. Okay. Yeah, I'm Okay. Yeah, that's gonna go in just like that. So you have room to put the personality tip here and the on off there. Okay. Uh, on the other side. We'll go to part two. We'll go to part two. I'm going to go on top. You see this red triangle here? Uh, there's going to be one on the other side. I'm going to line up to that. And when you see that happen, you want to twist that counterclockwise. Right here. Yeah, that's going to fall into like a groove basically. There oh, there you go. Okay. Then you just lock it. Lock like you. that. There we go. Ah, thank you. Alright, cool. We're going to take the antenna pieces out of the uh, net. Alrighty, look ahead over there. You got the long antenna going to the back and a short one there. The short one here? Uh, no, actually the other way. Sorry, there? The other way? The other, other way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got that there, and now uh, we'll see these uh, three eye sensors here. We'll match this eye right on top of that. And press on it. And we throw it in here. Perfect, that will go right on top. We'll see what happens next. Alright. Alright, cool. Looks like they're nearly finished. But, we need to do something first. We need to uh, start the activation sequence our remote control. Okay. And that will pair the remote with the droid. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Alright, awesome. <laughs> yeah, board ready. That's going to go right over here. And once that uh, circular activate button turns red, you'll be able to press it and that will start the activation. Activating!
Hey gang, uh, still here at Disney uh, World and Hollywood Studios, and we just finished Star Tours, but I wanted to give you guys something that, um, something that I'll never ever forget. Hopefully you can hear me with the mask on and stuff. It is something that happened actually 30 years ago this year. In 1991, I had the opportunity at the radio station that I was working at to come down to Disney World, follow the high school band in competition, as well as they were performing in the Citrus Bowl Parade and on Main Street in the Magic Kingdom here at Disney World. Turn around and we were offered to come down as a radio station to broadcast live from here. And I thought, how cool would that be? And luckily at that time, the owners, they were all for it. They turned around and said, do this. You know, we're, we're, we're going to do this. And I'm like, okay, that, you know, let's do it. So we did. And it was myself and another person. And we came down and we were actually broadcasting. And I'll turn it around here. When we were here in this studio, okay? I'll walk over here for a second. In that studio right there. And we were able to see people. People could see us if they came in on this side. If they went out front, they couldn't. Now, keep in mind, we were picked up every morning. We were staying at the Beach Club Resort. They had just built that. And at the Beach Club report, or reco uh, Resort, we got to stay for free. Packets to eat, you know, uh, or certificates, whatever, for food, drinks, park passes, you name it. We got it all. As long as we were broadcasting. And we were here during, right after Christmas, as a matter of fact, of 1991. So now it looks like this building, uh, they have done it. Uh, they have changed it and it is now Celebrity Spotlight. There it is. This is what it is. Now I don't know what Celebrity Spotlight is. I have no clue. But this used to be for radio. And it wasn't just for our station. It was other radio stations, especially small stations, that wanted to help out. And, and of course we had to promote Disney World. Uh, that was the main thing. But also they did a radio show from here nationwide, I believe on Friday and Saturday nights as an oldie show. Obviously that's not the case anymore. So just uh, going back in the past, 30 years ago, and 30 years ago, Debbie and I um, were here for that. And as I turn around and you'll see behind me, Actually, all of that behind me here, we look, used to be Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Gone now. That's not here anymore. So, again, just something to uh, throw out there and let you know that, hey, at one time, I actually broadcast my radio show from here at Disney World. Would love to do it again if they would offer it. All right, we got places to go, so... Come on, let's go.
All right, gang, here we are. Um, we're at uh, Mom's Cafe, better known as the Primetime 50s Cafe, here in Hollywood Studio. This is dinner tonight. We've been here before, we like it. Every time we actually come back to Disney World, we usually try to book this and the sci-fi drive-in, but can't get in, couldn't get into the sci-fi drive-in, which I'm glad for because we've really ate at some other spectacular places. Anyway, um, the, like I said, this is not the first time that we've been here. Won't be the last either. And we're uh, getting drinks and we're gonna make, uh, place our order. Starting off with the appetizer, Debbie got a crab cake for us to share. Now, I will admit, a lot of the stuff that we get is more than we can handle. So a sharing for the two of us really works out, especially after last night's dinner at the Burgermeister. However, um, you know, I was thinking actually, and, and because of stuff on the menu, for example, the appetizers, they got beer battered onion rings, they've got Grandpa's crab cake, which Debbie's getting, uh, iceberg lettuce wedge, and chicken noodle soup. The entrees, here's the thing. Aunt Liz's golden fried chicken, both Debbie and I are getting that tonight. Right, you are getting that, right? Okay. Uh, but I almost went with a sampling of mom's favorite recipes. And this is a, a little bit of everything. Fried chicken, uh, tender pot roast, uh, and traditional meatloaf with all the fixings. I've seen two plates go by, there's no way I could eat all of them, no way. So we went with the chicken. Also you can get Cousin Meg's traditional meatloaf and mom's old fashioned pot roast, just to name a few entrees. So again, this is what we're going for. It's a really cool place to stop in, take a look. And um, Debbie and I are sitting here. For those of you that are not boomers, those of you that, uh, you know, don't remember, but uh, for us boomers, it, I'll be honest with you, the tables, some of the things, decorations they've got here, I can remember, and Debbie can too, both of our grandparents having this stuff. So it uh, kind of brings back some memories for us. All right, so we're gonna step aside. When we come back, we'll have, uh, tell you about the crab cake and our dinner, and we'll go from there. All right, ready? Let's eat. Alright, so dinner's over along with dessert. Um, dinner, let's go over that. It was the fried chicken. Uh, just like most restaurants, it's gonna be plain, uh, you know, not a lot of spices, but it was good. It was juicy, uh, cooked very well, loved it. The, we also had uh, potatoes and gravy, mashed potatoes and gravy, as well as corn. I thought the corn was very, very dry and tough. But the potato and gravy wasn't bad. We need a little salt and pepper, but that's me, a little seasoning. Um, both of us ate and enjoyed it. And then for dessert, we had ice cream a la mode, basically, which, as you can see, is all gone now. Chocolate brownie, whipped cream, cherry on top with some ice cream. Deb and I shared that. Again, too much for one of us just to handle by ourselves. So, that's all it was. And of course, Coke products to drink. So overall, we always come back. Every time we're here, we go to Mom's Cafe or 50's Primetime Cafe uh, to eat. We do enjoy it. Uh, we have a good time. And I, I just, I can't knock the food. I, I don't think it's that bad at all. As a matter of fact, I think all week long, everything we've had has been very good. So we're very pleased with it. All right, so with that being said, you might say that we're done here at uh, Hollywood Studios. We had a great day today, a day filled with uh, excitement. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, when we recap everything, I'm going to tell you what happens when you lose your uh, bracelet, or what is it, uh, the magic band, because I did, and how we found it, and it's amazing. So we'll have that story for you. Also, tomorrow's our last day. We're going to be at the Magic Kingdom. And around, uh, we're debating on going to Disney Springs again because we've got to get a cookie from Gideon's. We're just not sure if we're going to be able to swing this or not, but we're going to discuss it and we'll let you know tomorrow. All right, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for today. 
Again, a lot of fun at Hollywood Studios. Expect it to be the, one of the most popular, if not the popular park right now, only because of the fact of Galaxy's Edge and Star Wars. Otherwise, Magic Kingdom's probably your number one park there. And we had a great time both at Hollywood Studios, uh, whether it be in Toy Story Land, we went and visited, uh, of course, the radio station where I broadcast from, Galaxy's Edge, and everything. We'll recap it for you. But again, that's pretty much it for dinner tonight. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, we're going to go finish out and do a little shopping here at Hollywood Studios. So come on, let's go. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to join us on our next adventure, let's go.